Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So it's time for a lovely tea TV shout out. I want to go ahead and shout out this app company called Axe Herbie. Now you can get this app on iOS or on Android and I've been using it for the past few days and I'm in love with this app. Basically it's a community app where people gather. You come on there, you're anonymous, you don't have to register with an email, you don't have to use your first and last name and you basically get to have anonymous dialogue about all the latest celebrity news, celebrity gossip, trending topics, any type of relationship issues or relationship advice and then also everyday issues issues that people go through as well. So it's a really fun community. My favorite personal feature on the app is the Herbie Says option. So basically what happens is that once a week, Herbie picks his favorite topics and he answers users' questions and you know, whatever's trending. And then all the users on the platform, they're able to stream the Herbie Says feature on their phone. Hey guys, and welcome to the very first edition of Herbie Says. I'm Herbie, and what I do here is I take some of my favorite questions and topics of the week that you guys are discussing in the Ask Herbie community, and I answer them myself. So let's get started. So this is one of my favorite features on the app. So if you guys want more information on the app, if you want to check it out, everything will be pinned down below. Make sure you guys go on and download the app, check it out, join the community. Like I said before, everything is anonymous, it's free. It's a good way to get the discussion popping and meet some new people. So make sure you guys check out Ask Herbie. All right, you guys, so I wanted to come out here and talk about the whole Cardi B and off cheat situation, not offset, but damn it, off cheat, okay? That's his new name. So a lot of folks have been wanting me to talk about this. Y'all want me to break it down, but y'all know I don't rush to go make videos. It's not a competition for me. It's about quality, okay? So I want to sit back, sit my damn tea, and see how all this foolishness played out, okay? So what went down is that basically this past Tuesday on December 4th, two chicks started going back and forth on social media, okay? One was some random chick that not too many people knew who she was at the time, but the other chick that she was blasting was Cuban Doll, who was a rapper from Dallas, Texas. So what happened is that this so-called friend of Cuban Doll, they must have got into it, got into an argument, did something, and she decided to basically blast their private conversations, blast private text messages and everything else, and basically insinuated that Cuban Doll was having sex with Off Cheat, okay? So this entire situation was a hot damn mess, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the back and forth between Cuban Doll and this female. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw that back and forth. So the girl that was getting into a Cuban dot, her name is M Foreign. So anyhow, after that, Cuban dot took to her Twitter page, and this is what Cuban dot wrote. Cuban dot says, "These bitches be so ready to switch sides. It's crazy. Like we was never friends." So then basically Cuban Doll was denying all of this. She's saying that the girl was lying. Even Off Cheat took to his Snapchat and he basically denied it as well. So this is what Off Cheat had to say, okay? Check this out. So Off Cheat says, I've never tried a convo with you hoes. Cap, cap, cap. Leave me and my fam out the cap. Busted ass hoes with no bag. Good on the thoughts. All right, so you guys just saw what Off Cheat had to say. Honey, he was so damn adamant. I almost believed this damn ass, okay? So after Off Cheat came out, was calling my types of hoes and thoughts, 
Um Foreign decided to basically announce who she was and she goes by the name Summer Bunny on Instagram as well. And she then provided all types of fucking receipts. She had recorded phone conversations of off cheat basically talking to Cuban doll. She also caught them screen chatting with each other and she posted that as well. So this entire situation was a hot damn mess, but you know what? I'm here for a bitch. Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey. I'll say. Yo. Okay. This is this is the girl. Both do. Both do. Two days, boy. <laughs> what the fuck? Say three. <laughs> Honey. All right, you just saw those receipts. The receipts could not be denied. So once this went viral all over social media, of course, people were harassing Cardi and saying, once again, your husband is cheating. What are you gonna do? This is insane. So this was all the talk on Tuesday, okay? So then Wednesday morning, Cardi B came onto social media and she basically announced that she was gonna divorce Offset, AKA Off Cheat. She says, you know, that's her baby's father. She's always going to love him. He's a good father, but she can't continue to put herself in this situation anymore. And so when she made the video, Off Cheat had the nerve to comment in the damn comment section, top my y'all one. You know what I mean? Basically trying to blame everybody else for his wandering dick, okay? So y'all go ahead and check out this video of Cardi B. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So everybody been um, bugging me and everything. And you know, I've been trying to work things out with my baby father for a hot minute now. And we're really good friends. And you know, we're really good business partners. And you know, he's always somebody that I run to, to talk to. And we got a lot of love for each other, but things just haven't been working out between us for a long time and it's nobody's fault it's just like i guess we grew out of love but we're not together anymore i don't know it might take time to get a divorce and i'm gonna always have a lot of love for him because he is my daughter's father and yeah all right so you guys just saw that message from cardi b you know, and you guys saw Offset replying saying, you know, y'all won. So this entire situation is just sad. You know, as you guys know, I'm not about to sit here and revel in anybody's divorce. I said the same thing when Tamar Braxton and Vince were going through their divorce. Divorce is not fun. It's the death of a marriage. So I definitely feel bad for Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? She's been through a lot. And she put up with his cheating ways. You know, she wanted her family to work out. She wanted them to be a family. If she didn't, she wouldn't have married him. You know, she forgave him for a lot of stuff. But then when you're constantly cheating and you're not even being slick about it when you're facetiming people and you're leaving an evidence trail that means you want to be caught he could have been a lot more discreet with it so it's obvious that he just did not care so this entire situation is just a mess and of course cuban doll you know she feels bad about the situation i think i said she's from dallas earlier but she's from houston texas you know she feels bad about the situation but again a lot of these chicks they just don't care now the girl who started all this bullshit the girl who started all this drama so once people discovered who she was folks started dragging the hell out of her folks started going off on her now if you guys don't know here goes some crazy tea okay summer bunny was cuban doll's friend right at the time cuban doll was fucking takashi 69 who i've been telling y'all for months he's been playing and disrespecting his baby's mother okay so takashi 69 was fucking cuban doll Cuban Doll was on the set of the Fifi music video. Nicki Minaj was there as well. And she said that was the first time she ever met Nicki Minaj, you know, ever really spoke to her. And Nicki Minaj ended up kicking her off set because she kept trying to take pictures and they were scared that she was gonna leak those pictures online. But if you watch the Fifi music video, Cuban Doll's dog is in the music video. And on top of that, this chick, Summer Bunny, she's also in the music video as well. So Off Cheat decided to cheat with a girl who was in the Fifi music video with Nicki Minaj and Takashi 69 who he knows have an issue with Cardi B, okay? Hey, I got a good one. I got a good one. Cardi and Nicki, nigga. Nicki. Answer that. Nicki, the motherfucking queen. Yeah? 
You know, 6 9 has thrown shots at Cardi B, then we all know the drama between Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. I really think that that was just the final straw and the cherry on top for Cardi B. Not only are you cheating on me, you're cheating on me with Cuban Doll's friend, and you know that Cuban Doll was fucking with 6 9 and he's been throwing shots at me, and you know 6 9 is cool with Nicki Minaj. So am I blaming Nicki for this? No, of course not. Nicki does not control where off cheat, you know what I'm saying, sticks his damn peen, okay? But this entire situation is just really crazy because again this girl was in the Fifi music video and you know Offset better than anybody knows all the drama that Cardi B has been going through so for him to cheat with her is just really crazy but now now this girl's trying to somehow play victim she's coming out trying to apologize you know saying that she didn't mean it so she took to her Instagram page and this is what she had to say y'all go ahead and check this out Okay, so this is what Summer Bunny, um, a.k.a. Black China's knockoff, had to say. So she says, good morning, a quick letter to the fans, followers, and social media outlets. During the last 48 hours, I haven't enjoyed the social media frenzy. Not only is it draining, but humbling. I will always be woman enough to admit when I'm wrong, and in this situation, I was. Seeing another woman's pain does not bring me any joy, nor do I think it's funny. I've always been for women supporting others, but in this situation, not only myself, but others have failed. I separated myself from certain situations and people for a reason. This is not a letter for sympathy, but acknowledgement to everyone whom has to everyone whom has questions. Going into 2019, focused and dedicated to becoming a better me. Thank y'all. Summer. Girl, if you don't go sit down with that tired ass letter. Anyways, after she published that letter on Instagram and nobody gave a fuck and they kept dragging her, she then took her ass to TMZ and basically cried tattoo tears about how she didn't think that their marriage was really serious. This entire situation is a hot damn mess. Y'all go ahead and listen to this TMZ interview and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I've my mess with Offset since he's had his baby. Um. I didn't know how serious this marriage was. Um, you know, I kind of read or kind of see things, but um, I haven't like, I, it took until today to actually like get into this, um, seeing everything. You know, a lot of girls would just deal with this situation and just be like, yo, like um, I took Cardi B's nigga or I'm the reason that they're getting a divorce or anything. Like I feel, um, ashamed, um, yeah. you know, like growing up, it's a lot, but, um, just coming from me and like to Cardi B and to like her fans and to her family, to her situation, um, these were never my intentions and I never wanted, um, to break up a happy home or be a cause of someone just saying like, fuck it, um, to get a divorce or anything like that. No, I have not spoken to Cardi B, but I would like her to know that um, I'm a very genuine person and um, I'm not here to um, break up our family or mess up what she has going on um, with our husband. And um, I'm very sorry that this, was, this has happened and I'm very sorry that I didn't think about my worth as a young lady. Um, and I just hope that um, she can overcome this. And um, I know that her and Offset actually do have love for each other. Um, I can tell. So I just hope that um, with this, she can actually just focus um, on her love for Offset. All right, so y'all just watch that damn video. You know, this entire situation is crazy. For her to say that she didn't feel like their marriage was that serious, what gave you the idea that their marriage wasn't that serious? The fact that they're married makes a relationship serious, point blank, period. You know, she needs to just admit that she did all this for her 15 minutes of fame, which is gonna backfire in her face because at this point in time, you're out here looking crazy, sis. Another thing is, this chick doesn't realize she just got herself caught up even more. First of all, her fake tears were bullshit. I didn't see no tears come down her face. Second of all, if you guys remember, when she initially came out, she came out to blast Cuban Doll. 
She said that Cuban doll was basically fucking Offset and they were trying to get her to do a threesome with Offset. But now in this TMZ interview, she admits that she had slept with Offset, but that she hadn't slept with them since the baby was born. But as we all know, Cardi B and Offset were married well before the baby was born. So that means when it came out to the world that they were married, you were still fucking him up until the time she had the baby in July. So it just goes to show you how trifling some of these women are, okay? You got too many chicks out here who are proud to be the side chick, who are proud to fuck every rapper and every athlete known to man just for some damn handbags and just to say that they were on the set of a music video that she probably didn't even get a dime for. So this entire situation is just insane and people need to realize that when you play with marriage, karma is real and karma will definitely come back on you, okay? The same way you get somebody is definitely how you're going to lose them. People think it's so funny and it's so cute to be the side chick or the side guy or to be sleeping with other people's significant others it's not okay and realize the same thing can and will happen to you as well okay you know when whatever energy you put out there you'll definitely get it back so whoever summer bunny's with she too will get cheated on and same with cuban don and everybody else so yes karma is definitely real and you have to watch how you treat folk and Austin needs to get off his narcissistic high horse and just apologize and admit that he's wrong instead of trying to blame everybody else him and his peen got himself into this situation, okay? So now after all this drama went down over the past few days on social media, last night Cardi B decided to share a picture of baby culture with the world. And when I tell you social media went crazy, Culture became the number one trending topic worldwide within 12 minutes. This girl had a million likes on Twitter and her baby is so adorable. We have all been waiting for months to see what baby culture looks like and Cardi B finally decided to bless everybody yesterday. A lot of folks are saying that baby culture looks like a cross between Cardi B and Hennessy. So now last night Cardi B was out and about. She was in Miami at Club 11. So it looks like Cardi B was out last night just trying to have fun and hang out in Miami. She ended up meeting up with Tiana Taylor, so they kicked it for a little bit. So it looks like she's just trying to, you know, just regroup and just gather her thoughts. She probably just wanted a break from all the monotony and all the drama. You know, right now she's going through a lot. A lot of people are trying to say this is a publicity stunt. You know, Offset has a new album coming out. They're just doing this for publicity. She's not going anywhere. She has confirmed to me that this is real she's done and that she will be filing for a divorce sometime this week. So like I said, this is a really sad situation. I don't wish divorce on anybody. It's very heartbreaking, especially when you're trying to make something work and you're trying to build a family. But this is why we have to be more selective on the people that we have children with, on the people that we decide to marry. And he showed a lot of signs in the beginning of being a cheater. But I understand as women, sometimes we ignore telltale signs and we feel like we can change a man. Or you know what I'm saying? We feel like, you know, because we are who we are, that will cause that man to love us more and unfortunately if it's not in that man it's just not in that man and it seems like Offset is more content with being single running the streets doing him and you know if that's your mentality Offset aka off cheap then you shouldn't be married point blank period so I wish them both the best you know what I'm saying I hope that this divorce goes smoothly I hope they're both able to move on with their lives and just you know co-parent their daughter and do what they need to do but, but it's really sad that in a year you know they've had a baby they've gotten married and now they're getting divorced so this is a really sad situation I definitely feel bad for her you know but these females out here thinking it's cool to be side chicks and thinking it's cute to be fucking somebody else's you know man somebody else's husband or boyfriend it's not okay and like I said before karma is definitely real so anyways I've broken down the entire situation to you guys with everything that went down with Cardi B, Offset, um, Summer Bunny, and Cuban Doll. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, concerning Offset cheating on Cardi B and Summer Bunny coming out of the blue, blasting Cuban Doll, only for her to blast herself and admit that she's also been sleeping with Offset, okay? So how do you guys feel about the entire situation? And then also, how do you guys feel about Cardi B showing Culture's picture? Do you guys feel like the baby looks like Hennessy? What do you guys think about little culture so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces